Welcome Sagittarius. Okay, so we are going to be looking at the next two weeks for you and what it is that you need to focus on. Okay, using Nature's Whispers Oracle cards and also Grace cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get these shuffled just very quickly. Um, Sagittarius, if you have not checked out your activation yet, please go and do so after this video. Okay, and any other activations that you might be drawn to. Everything's going flying already. And I'm just going to pause you to pick the card up. So yes, back to the activations. Yeah, I did four extra ones, okay, um, that didn't come out for the Zodiacs, so they are there as well for you to have a look at if you feel called to. Okay, so let's get into this Sagittarius. I feel like I'm turning into a bit of a rapper doing these readings, honestly. I think I've got a long way to go before I reach that status. But anyhow, culmination of vision. Wow, there's a lot of cards coming up that I haven't had out before, so this is really intriguing to me. I love how that person is just looking at these butterflies with this real sort of um, sense of oh, there's just so much there in the face. It's like a connection, it's like this knowing of what it is that they've been through to get here, to get to this butterfly state, but not just knowing what they've been through, it's a real deep, deep understanding. It's like actually having to become it. And so it's sort of like this person, they've kind of become this tree in order to understand about the tree, right? Which is very interesting, Sagittarius. So maybe there's something in your life that you need to sort of embrace um, so that you can have a full understanding of what, what it's about. Let, tell me more about culmination of vision, though. Well, okay. Okay, so... We've got schizophrenia and we've got sharing. Okay, that makes total sense to me because schizophrenia is so much about, you know, when you look at the real meaning of that is there's other people inside of the person, right? And so it really is about this becoming the thing in order to completely understand it. So what I want to say to you here, Sagittarius, if, if there is something in your life or a person that you don't quite understand I know you can't become the other person but maybe it's a matter of really putting yourself in their shoes okay and not going okay I'm going to put myself in their shoes to see um, how it feels and what I do it's more about putting yourself in their shoes to understand how they feel and what they would do as opposed to what you feel and what you would do. Quite a key difference there, okay? Um, the other thing I want to say with this is that there's a sense with these two cards, and it's really interesting. I do apologize for the power tools that you may be hearing in the background here. There's someone in the neighborhood doing some work on something. Um, only day, today, when I'm doing the readings. Of course, they knew. Anyway, um, it's like these two people here are looking up at this one here in anticipation. Like, you know, what are you getting? Like, what what answers have you got? And, and, and what does it feel like? And, you know, they're, it's sort of like they don't have the same ability as this one here that's able to become immersed by the tree and I feel like that's the case for you that you have some sort of ability that others around you may not and so on the one hand I want to say that they look up to you for the answers but on the other hand 
it could be that there are people around you who don't quite believe that you would know because they don't really understand this ability or this gift, okay? I feel as though, too, some of you don't really like people knowing about that ability or that gift, but yes. That's really cool, though, those people standing down here. They, I'm quite drawn to them because they do have this real curiosity about them, and it's like, what are you getting now? How about now? How does it feel? And these are the people who really have faith and believe in you, you know? Um, they don't doubt what you're getting. Okay, and then we have the sharing, and this may be the sharing of that information, that you... You may not want to share it, Sagittarius, because of potentially past life repercussions or, you know, even how people see you or, or may think about you in this lifetime. Okay, but I feel like it needs to be shared for some reason. It feels like something's different now and it feels as though you need to share it. Okay, Um and all I would say on that, Sagittarius, is share it in, in a very gentle way, okay? Because it may be that some people mistakenly believe that you know it all or you think you know it all, okay? But that's only because of your confidence in what the information that you have received, okay? Um, so I would be aware of that. Uh, and maybe word it in the way that doesn't give that impression, okay? That's not to say that that's what you think or feel, but to people who don't have the understanding, it is how it may come across, through no fault of your own, okay? But I would be aware of that, because for the message to be received, we need people to be open to receive it, okay? So that's that's the goal here, all right? New experiences and possibilities. See, here's this again. She's immersing herself in the tree, immersing herself in nature. And it could be the case that for some of you, Sagittarius, you need to actually get out in nature in order for, for you to clear, to clear your energy, okay? Um, and to clear your aura to invite in these new, new experiences and possibilities. Oh, that has landed upside down and I can't see what it is. <laughs> I thought I might be able to get away with talking about it while it's still sitting on the floor, but I don't think I can. So let me just pause you and pick that up. Okay, we have fighting. Is this an internal battle? Are you fighting your own mind here, Sagittarius? You're ready to go into battle anyhow. That's, that's, there's no doubt about that. Whether it's with other people or your mind, I'm not too sure. And we have participation as well. I think I need one more card here. Just need one more card because which is maybe going to throw me even more because I'm like I think I'm seeing it but am I really <laughs> um yeah I was seeing that this was something about family here um fighting with family or there's fighting between family members okay um I feel like your role in this Sagittarius is to sit in this power okay not too part to participate in this fighting that goes on, to take a step back and embrace this power, okay? Um, sort of distract yourself with nature around you while all this is going on, if you need to, all right? If, if, if you're around this, Sagittarius, I would definitely get out of nature to have a clearing of your energy, okay? That could be something that you definitely need. Okay, so what have we got next here? We have clear out the old. Yes, see, this is this energy I'm talking about. Clearing out the old energy that doesn't serve you. Some of it you may not be aware of it. Some of you, it you may not see. It may be a matter of feeling it out. And I have, oh, just see, I love these cards so much. I've just suddenly seen 
something in the card that I had this card pop up heaps and I have never seen this part of the card before. Wow. Anyway, I was on a tangent about going down a track that I also have never been down before and then I got thrown by seeing this thing, but I will point this out to you. But let me try and get on the tr back on the track I was on. Um, yeah, it might be things you can't see or that aren't clear that need to be cleared out. And I feel like Sagittarius, it may be a matter of more what it is that you're feeling. How circumstances, how people, how situations make you feel that is going to be your guidance system as opposed to, oh yeah, I can see that this isn't working out. I can see that this, you know, it's not what you see, it's what you feel. Sorry about that Sagittarius, my throat has been rather tickly today. So I may have to stop every now and then to have a drink, okay? So, <clears throat> yeah, clearing out the old. So what I've seen here, I've seen something else down there, but I can't quite make out what that is. Maybe I'm not meant to yet until it's relevant. But what I'm seeing here is this person leaning on this. I, I see this as a male, always seen this as male, but it looks like this female is resting on her shoulder here. I never, ever, ever, in my entire days of having this deck, seen this, ever. That's a really nice comfort feeling, actually. I feel like there could be someone in your life who um, you can lean on, you know, who, who kind of like, um, it's like when you're feeling weary and you need to just rest your head, their, their shoulder's there for you. Um, even if they can't see the way too clearly or can't see a solution to your issue or what it is that you need help with they're still there with their shoulder um, I feel like it's really important to appreciate that you know, may not seem like much but it is a lot you know, um, when you have someone like that in your life Sagittarius that's, that's big so appreciate it, you know so tell me more for clear out the old for Sagittarius, please. Clear out the old. What else? <laughs> success. Okay. We've got success here and the fool. Very interesting. Um, I feel like Sagittarius, for some of you, there's a bit of a block to success. Okay. There's like, um, it's sort of like you get so far and then you don't get any further with something. It's sort of like you get to the six, but you don't quite reach the ten in your success, right? And um, and and I just feel like there's something that is blocking you, to be honest, because um, it's like the cycle is starting too soon. And it's whatever is um, sitting there that's old, old, old as. Could it even be from, you know, it could be a, a generational thing that needs to be cleared. So this may be something that you're not aware of. Um, but I just wonder if you, you feel it inside you, but you just don't know where it comes from or why it's there. So it could be that you don't pay too much attention to it. But I feel like you need to um, because... It's sort of, and, it, and it's almost as though it's a fleeting thing for you, Sagittarius. So when you catch it, hold it, and and make sure, yeah, see, it's like this thing here. It's like a butterfly floating past, and it may be like, oh, wow, look at the butterfly, and not realizing what it took for the butterfly to get here and everything that it went through, okay? And it's the same with the generations past, you might not be aware of what those generations have gone through and what got them here, but there could be a whole lot of stuff that needs to be cleared out. More than likely there is, okay? When you're looking back, say, seven generations, that's a long time, man. That's a lot of clearing that needs to be done, especially, you know, 
couple of generations ago particularly weren't doing hardly any work on themselves or, or clearing up stuff you know it was just you just got on with it type of thing you know look at what happened in, back in the days of the wars and stuff like that even though there's still wars going on now right but and, and even now people are expected just to go do do what they do and then come back and and just hopefully they'll handle it you know you know and and these could be from past lives too so i would i would i just feel like there's this need for you to be paying real close attention to these things okay and it could very well be that this is a process that you've been going down and um this is where you're at with it now okay um yeah I can't come away from this this feeling of um, feeling frozen, like the success hits a point and then doesn't go any further. That's pretty interesting. Okay, you are worth it, Sagittarius. You are worth it. Now, about this Sagittarius, I feel like for some of you, maybe many of you, maybe all of you, um, <clears throat> You tend to put this um, confidence out to the world. And there will be many people around you who believe that you wouldn't have a problem with feeling worth it. You wouldn't have a problem with feeling worthy. You wouldn't have an issue of feeling like you're enough. Because you hide it so well. You hide your insecurities about yourself so incredibly well. The thing is, Sagittarius, with you, is you have the ability to focus on all your good things, which is fantastic. But you, you may tend to focus on those in order to hide the insecurities. You know the saying, fake it till you make it right. Honestly, that's what I'm seeing here. Which can help you to some degree but it doesn't help you to go all the way, to get all the way, okay? And I feel like that's maybe what has been happening here, and that's why there's always this block. Like, you just can't get any further, you know? So it's like, oh, I'll go start something else then, because this obviously wasn't meant for me. It's not about that at all. It's actually this um, this deep-seated, deep-rooted stuff that needs to be plucked out. It's like a real deep weed you know like the roots are so deep no one can find where the initial source of the root is and it, these weeds keep springing up all over the show and um yeah because it's buried so so deep that it wasn't buried by you but it is impacting you okay so you are worth it tell me more about you are worth it for Sagittarius please flowering oh I love this integration okay because I love that it's got flowering here with this flower okay because it looks like to me she's dreaming of this flower oh I really love a flower like that that's so beautiful right um and and here she is sitting on the flower because she knows she's worth it this is the thing right she has no doubt about that this one here she doesn't believe she is worth it she believes that oh this is only a dream that I could ever have Look at my flowers that I have here. That's as far as I can get with those. I could never have anything this amazing. Because look, I've only got a little dinghy to carry it on, right? I haven't even, I need a big ship for that. And that's already sailed, so I'm stuffed. Like, I can only take these flowers now. Whereas this energy here, she's sitting on the freaking flower, for goodness sakes. The flower is her, her base, you know, like, there is no doubt about this, okay, um, and so with the integration card here, I feel as though there's these aspects of yourself that you try to hide away from view from everyone else seeing, okay, these insecurities, but what you need to do with them, Sagittarius, you actually need to bring them right in front of you, you don't have to broadcast it to the rest of the world. At least be honest with yourself here. Bring them right in front of you and say, hey, I see you. 
I hear you, I feel you. Listen to what it is that these insecurities want to tell you. Okay? Let them have, have a voice. And I feel like this is what the integration card is about, about integ integrating all of you. Not just the parts that you like and the parts you want to show everybody. It's a matter of bringing it all out for you to see. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Vulnerability. You see, I actually feel like that even though you have this demeanor about you that you put forth to the world, I really do feel like what it truly feels like for you, Sagittarius, is that you're in this old crumpled up leaf that may very well, this doesn't have the strength to hold anyone, anyone. I feel like you feel like this is what your foundation is. I feel like you're trying to build a really solid foundation, but for some reason it keeps... Um, it, well it's just not solid it doesn't have the solidity that you would like it to have it doesn't have the strength to hold what you would like it to hold and yeah I'm kind of like well what what is it that um you know that you It's the wrong way of putting it I don't know it's kind of like it's kind of like you settle for that you go okay well that's all that I can I can have like that's all I'll ever get and yet you're striving for so much more and I'm kind of like why this is this is kind of a little bit confusing okay um All these cards are coming out now. I feel like I want to put all those back. And I actually want to, okay, vulnerability. Tell me more about this for Sagittarius, please. Vulnerability. Sagittarius. It's gone upside down. Hmm. Hmm. Inner voice. You've got an inner voice here. Okay. Um. Sorry, I should show you the card, shouldn't I? Getting so engrossed in it. Inner voice. And we've also got mind. You see, your inner voice needs to actually have um, have more of a dom dominant voice, I feel. But it seems to me that your mind actually does. Right now, I feel like it's your mind that's in control rather than the inner voice that needs to be in control. Okay? Um Because there seems to be a misconception here that your mind is um, able to see things clearly. Because it's like, look, it's got this looking glass even. It's like, oh, yes, look. Look, I've even got this where I can zoom in on something and see it. Does the inner voice have that? No, it doesn't. It doesn't even have a pair of glasses, for goodness sakes. And so it's almost like your mind's tricking you into believing what it's telling you. But it's your inner voice that really needs... Um, this to be silenced in order to be heard. And it's like the mind is saying to you, oh, yes, 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 the leaf is fine. It's better than nothing. Let's go with the leaf, you know, which is real interesting, eh? Because here, here you had two boats. You had a dinghy and a big boat, and now you've resorted to a leaf. So, which makes me kind of go Sagittarius. How much of yourself are you putting out there that is true? And how much are you hiding? 
how much of your truth are you actually hiding here? Because I feel like it's quite a lot. And I feel as though some of you are worried about being ridiculed. Some of you are worried about... Um, I feel like being cast out, in a sense. I'm just going to give these a shuffle. Yeah, but the thing is, Sagittarius, it's actually you who casts yourself out. I don't feel like anyone will cast you out, but as soon as someone kind of like even drops a hint of disapproval or something for you, it feels like they're casting you out. That's, I think, what it is. Too many cards. Okay, one more shuffle and then I'll turn it over. Illumination, thank you. Illumination here. This is you looking to into the shadows to see what is there that needs to be worked through. I think you're afraid of your shadow self, to be honest. And I think for some of you Sagittarians, you um, kind of like put on a bit of a, a show. I don't mean that cruelly to say, oh, yeah, I'm working, I know about my shadow. I'm working through my shadow, not a problem. Um, but in fact, your shadow is in the shadow of the shadows. You might be working through the first shadow, but for you, you've got a number of shadows that you've actually tucked it away behind there. And it's sort of like once upon a time you were aware that you were doing that, but it's become so much, so commonplace now that you've forgotten that you actually initially did that. Okay, um, rebirth, yep. Um, and, and this is sort of representing the shadow of the shadows, you know, it's the, like you've got to do this extra work here in order to bring that out because you have this music inside of you that needs to be brought out, but it's hidden way, way, way beneath everything that you can even, even see. Okay. So it's bringing it into your consciousness. It's becoming conscious of what is there. Okay. This it's really about this new truth for yourself, Sagittarius, stepping into this truth. I want to say stepping into the truth of who you are, but that feels so mediocre for you. That just feels like, meh, you know, you hear that so much, but it's much deeper than that for you, Sagittarius, a lot deeper. Like the for the rebirth to happen, it's a real rebirth, man. Like, you're not just going from a little baby to a kid to an adult playing the flute. You're going from the camel to the lion to the kid, right? Like, far out. <laughs> who does that? You do, because <laughs> that's who you are, you know? So if anyone can do this, it's you. You know, you have the ability and you, yeah, you're pr pretty clever. So don't underestimate yourself. Okay, and you know that. That's the thing. This is one of those things you put forth and go, yep, I'm clever. But this is not going to allow you to see everything else I don't want you to see. You're not going to see this camel in me because you're you're holding that, man. You're storing that back there for no one to see. And it's that thing of, oh, I'll do that one day. Yeah, I'll get to it. And then you never do, but you have to. Okay, because it's holding you back now. So, affection. Love yourself. You are the ultimate act of creation, fashioned by the bands of a divine artist. Yes, oh, I love this description. See, now this is something that would tickle your fancy. I'm going to read it again for you, Sagittarius. Love yourself. You are the ultimate act of creation, fashioned by the hands of a divine artist. You are indeed Sagittarius. Okay. Two more cards for Sagittarius, please. Two more cards for Sagittarius. So that's the first thing you need to start working on is loving those parts of yourself that are hidden in those shadows, yeah? Okay, so we've got that one and this one. Good O, receive. When we open ourselves up to others, we open ourselves up to the abundance of the universe, yeah? And when we close ourselves off, we close ourselves off to the abundance of the universe as well. So remember that, okay? And start with people you trust. You know, the one who allows you to lay your weary head upon their shoulders. Start with them. Start with the people you know who have you, okay? Mindfulness. Fact of the matter is, you don't trust anyone to have you. 
that's the issue, right? In fact, Sagittarius, some of you don't even trust yourself to have you. So these are the things that need to be worked on. Manage your mind. When we direct our thoughts and words towards the outcome we most desire, we ignite grace. Oh, I love that. Yes, I do indeed. That's wonderful. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to leave that with you here. Okay, so you've got some work to do over the next couple of weeks. Again, remember to do the activation and hopefully that will help you as well. Okay, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.